So here's the one thing that you need to know today about inflation and interest rates. I'm Ashley Chavez with Keller Williams Realty. I'm Stacia Weissar with Cross Country Mortgage. Okay, Stacia, tell me how the truth about what's going on with inflation and interest rates. Everyone's talking about my buyers and sellers, how are they correlate and what's going on in the market right now? Yeah, Ashley, it's definitely a hot topic. So really the one thing that buyers and sellers really need to understand is is that mortgage rates are influenced by inflation in the United States. And we all know that inflation is up. Like it's very expensive. Filling your car with a tank of gas, buying groceries at the grocery store, prices of goods, like everything is very, very expensive. And as inflation has risen, specifically in 2022, we saw inflation go up dramatically after the Fed's kind of pulled their foot off the gas and uh, retracted their monetary policy that they created during COVID. Mm-hmm. They retracted their foot off the gas in terms of their spending in the bond market, which drove inflation up, right? What is inflation? All it is is too many dollars chasing too few goods. That's what inflation truly is. We didn't think about it and we didn't feel it in the pandemic because of the federal government's monetary policy. They really spent, well, they did spend nine and a half trillion dollars in the bond market which really took away inflationary costs for us as consumers. When they took their foot off the gas in the middle of 2022, we started to feel inflation and that's when interest rates went up four percentage points from where they started the year, okay? We're still feeling a lot of that inflation right now in the economy. The federal government has raised the federal rate in response to try to push the inflation genie back in her bottle, try to control and tamper inflation. As inflation continues to rise, we really kind of feel like we're kind of at the peak of inflation right now at this moment in time. And so what's going to happen moving forward is we're going to start to see inflation coming down. But we know when inflation comes down, so too will interest rates. I'm sure that you have a lot of clients on the sidelines, Ashley, who are just waiting for rates to come down for people that can't qualify. So do I. And so when rates drive come down, we know that that's only going to increase the number of people looking to buy houses. Right. Absolutely. And as interest rates come down, really the question is, what's going to happen to the inventory? Stay tuned. Ashley is going to give us the hot insight to the San Diego market in the next session.